So back on the lot clearing this morning. I'm gonna try to get some more done. We got, I know the, you see the sun coming up, but there's supposed to be a lot of rain coming. So I pulled this over here to the truck. I'm gonna fill it up with fuel, put a little grease on the bucket. I'm gonna knock some more of these little toothpick tall pine trees down. See what I can get done today before we get rained out. Loaded here.
lot clearer um, as wide as it's supposed to be today. You would think that knocking these little trees down would be pretty quick, but it's pretty cumbersome. But you got to sit here and break them all up. If not, you'll end up with a big mess to put in the dump truck. So the rain from that Hurricane Zeta, Zeta, whatever the hell it was, uh, it's already moved through. The storm's traveling at like 40 miles an hour, so it's already come through. But we're getting all the afterwinds now. It's supposed to be like gust up to like 50 miles an hour today, and of course it won't have a big gust of wind blow while I'm filming but a minute ago all those little pine trees were just about laid over it was blowing so hard I don't know it's gonna be interesting to see how many along these tree lines are still standing in the morning after I knock the uh, property line down today we shall see another load going out Look at them laying over.
time you pay somebody to come here and mulch it, and then you pay, obviously it's going to mulch it up. It's going to have some ground cover. It's probably going to be about a foot thick. So, they don't get the stumps up either. All the stumps have got to be removed, so you'd still have to hire somebody like me to come in here and clean up all the stumps, haul off all the mulch, because nobody wants 12 inches of mulch because you're not going to put it for a grass. And you can't build a house over top of mulch. So all that would still have to be removed. So by the time you do that and pay two, you know, pay somebody to mulch it and then me come in here and clean it all up, you're back to what it costs just to come in here and knock it all down. That's the reasoning for that.
I would just knock it all down. There's, there's nothing in there worth saving. First time it rains, these things are going to fall down. They're spindly. They kind of rely on all themselves to keep all of them supported until they get bigger. You can tell somebody just push those over with a noser or something. Back at it this morning. Just got a little bit left that back corner there on the left. Get it all raked out and cleaned up. Brought the uh, skid steer this morning to kind of help clean up everything. It looked like it did rain last night, so it's going to be a little muddy, but ain't nothing I can do about it but clean it up.
grab this stuff, put it on top. I got a log stuck out 90 degrees, break that off.
All right, got it loaded. I am dump truck driver here for the next couple loads. Won't get all the way done here today, but it needs to dry out anyways. We'll come back Monday morning and finish grading everything out when it's not mush. All right, let me go dump that and come back and get one more. All right, so we just left the little office there, checking into the landfill here. And this landfill offers a couple or three different services. They have, uh, I think, a concrete dump, a construction debris dump, and then the brush back here in the back. The concrete's up here on the right, where all your concrete is dumped out. I don't know if they crush it up or what. Looks like they got a little bit of everything up there. I'm going to say it just gets pushed off up there and left. And I don't know, they might recycle some of it. But further down here is the construction debris landfill where it's all dumped out and separated. It's a humongous pile of shingles. You'll see here in just a second. Check out all those shingles. <laughs> oh, he's got him some metal. So it looks like Everybody comes here and dumps out. They separate it out, put it, separate the wood out, and then the construction debris goes into those walking floor trailers. It's like a giant pile of pallets. I don't think the I think something's wrong with the link belt. I just don't think it, it'd be shoved down in the half buried in the dirt right there. If something was uh, not wrong with it. But I saw this one on the last load here. And uh, it, it brought back a fond memory, the old Daewoo 220. That was what I cut my teeth in on right there. That machine right there. Not that identical machine, but that same one. If you remember from the earlier videos, that's what I learned how to operate an excavator on. Was that old girl right there. And all the brush goes up here to the top and glad somebody wasn't driving when that stump rolled off but he's taking it and shoving it all the way down and putting another lift in so I got to drive all the way up here to the top of the hill in here and dumped out where he can come down here and push it off back up right there and dump it out there's the concrete plan And this is where your brush goes to be either ground up or buried. That was a tractor trailer load and that was a my load right there, so I feel like I'm cramming it in there pretty good then. They got a big old Lee Bear dozer up there. They take it and just push it up the hill and put in a lift. You can see the stuff de uh, decomposing here. See the steam coming out of the ground?
big old Lee Bear Dozer. It's about the size of about a D7, I would say. There's a lot of trees that come off this lot. I got about one more load. I'll finish gathering that up Monday when it dries out and I can kind of rake this with the bucket teeth and finish grading everything out. So I'm gonna go haul that off and call it a day.